Assalamualaikum and good greeting. So I have just watched uh, the video of the Shahada by uh, LSTV. I do not know. I did not catch his actual name, but uh, the channel name is LSTV. If you haven't watched him already, you can uh, go to his channel. Um, so after watching the the Shahada video, I I thought that I might just want to see some of the previous video that give an indication that he is actually considering of converting or reverting to Islam. So this will be the video that I will be watching watching today. Why Islam? Muslim brother talks to non-Muslim about Islam part 1. Alright. So if I, I if I remember he is he used to be Christian or born into a Christian family. Uh, I do not catch where was his origin or even his country in which he record the video. But anyway, hopefully we can get a glimpse of that with this video. Without further ado, let's watch. Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, guys. My name is Razi Smoo and welcome to LS TV. Today I'm joined by my brother. Razi I've been Smoo. looking for him for a long time, and finally we decided that let's meet up and do a video. Brother, welcome. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Please introduce yourself. Uh, okay, thank you for joining you here today. Yeah. Uh, my name is Abdurrahim. Um, I am ethnically Somali, but I, I was born and raised in Kenya. Yeah. So my nationality is Kenya. So you became Muslim or you were born Muslim? Yeah, I was born. Since I'm a Somali, so you know, in Somalis, most of them are Muslims. Yeah. So I was born and I was raised as a Muslim. My f both parents are Muslims. I've been doing a lot of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know, I'm videos. interested in, in Islam, you know. Yeah. I was born into a Christian family. Mm -hmm. I'm Christian. My friend suggested and I've been doing a lot of videos a lot of people are asking me when are you converting <laughs> like when are you becoming muslim mm, okay. you've watched they tell me you've watched a lot of videos by yeah, now yeah, yeah. you should be muslim mm. of, of course alhamdulillah now we know he already is a muslim he have reverted alhamdulillah but i think this is when it, this is posted is june 29th this year so it took june july august right, it took basically two months uh, until from this video until the day he converted right or reverted or took his shahada so I wonder at this point because already people are asking when are you going to convert but I think normally that question comes out when you already indicated that you have quite uh, a strong belief in the in the belief of Islam in already right so why are you not yet converted right I love learning more because growing up we never knew anything yeah, about the religion, mm -hmm. you know. All we knew was Christianity. I'm interested in Islam and the people mm -hmm. and the culture and everyone. Mm -hmm. And I see that you've been doing a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. You've been doing yeah. so many videos. Yeah, actually some of my friends invite me because, yeah. you know, I am someone who actually, you know, understands much about Islam. Yeah. And I'm also a very much exposed person, you know, not only knowing Islam but you know I, I know also maybe science you know and yeah. so many things so that's why mostly and I'm very social you know talkative yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know I go inside people because uh, with my Islam I want at least them know the kind of beautiful thing I, I have because this one will attract them even if they, they will not convert <laughs> and become Muslims yeah but maybe at least I'm trying myself to show them something good in me yes so that at least even if they will not convert as Muslims but at least they learn something beautiful in the religion that's good so man. that's why actually most of them they come to me because they like me how I talk and you know how I express myself you know the knowledge and everything I think even if I convert or I don't convert, mm -hmm. I would have learned so much, uh, you know, okay, okay. from Islam. I, I would have learned so much. But do you know what's the nice thing mm -hmm. when I look at my comments? Mm -hmm. There's always one person or two people in my comments who say, from watching your videos, mm -hmm. I became Muslim. Yeah, because actually I, I watched some of your videos, yeah. you know. First time I watched your, your, your videos. Okay, that is interesting that someone else already became Muslim because of videos posted by not yet Muslim. How interesting is that? I thought you are a Muslim, you know, you are, you are a Muslim. Because uh, I will also encourage you and I will like hardly, you know, 100% or more than even 100%. Yeah. I will actually encourage you to, to convert. 
know? yeah. No one will force you actually because yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the in the in the religion we are not allowed we are not supposed to maybe force someone or maybe you know it has to come in you. And I actually like you because you are very much exposed and you are trying to learn it. You are trying to get it inside you, not actually someone to convince you and to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You are you are doing it from your from your from your will. That's why you are trying to learn it. Just take your time from what I will encourage you, just take you your time and try to learn more. But for now I think you have already understood something better if you see this is this is the right thing and yeah. differently which is it. You have maybe tried your, your, you know. Because if you don't convert today, tomorrow maybe something will happen. When you yeah. convert and you know you accept the, the religion, then it will be much easier for you to socialize with people, you know, and talk to them and yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Easily. Your friends will like you. you know, <laughs> that's why they are commenting every time. Because, because yeah, want... everyone everyone is actually a bit interested. But mm. hey man, you've been watching these videos. I think some people are saying it out of maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some people are saying it out of anger, you know? Nah. They're like, come on, man, just do it! <laughs> just do it, bro! Don't waste time! Yeah, yeah. And also, I want to say something. I don't want to convert out of, like, fear. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I don't want to convert saying that I'm scared if I don't convert, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to take time mm -hmm. and learn. Mm -hmm. And God allowing it's time for yeah, me to yeah, change and change. convert. Like, I will convert mm -hmm. and become a Muslim mm -hmm. until that time comes, mm -hmm. you know? It's nice to learn and be exposed mm -hmm. and to learn as much as you want mm -hmm. about anything, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 so many people are interested in Islam. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You've been seeing a lot of YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, actually. actually. You've been seeing even in Korea. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that was I, what I thought when I was watching the previous video of him that I reacted yesterday. Um, uh, because I thought, oh, is that a Korea? Because two two hints. One is in the document. There's the stem there. There's something like from afar. It seems like uh, Korea, right? And then after, uh, at the Islamic Center, when uh, out from the outside, there's the, like the Korean language uh, uh, alphabet or something, right? So is it in Korea? Because from the, his video, it doesn't um, feature any Korean people, at least in the background. So I cannot guess. And but when he said just now, even in Korea, so all of these people are in Korea right now, which is interesting, right? Lord, what do you think? Like, is it something good? It's actually something very, 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 very good, you know, because Islam actually will change your life. Yeah. This life, actually, not this life, and also something better in the hereafter if you practice and you know the religion well. Because this is a unique religion you know yeah as muslims you know we love people who are interested in learning the religion because sometimes it's very hard for us to come to you and to tell you convert and do this yeah but when someone is someone like you i really like you simply because of you are trying to you know search about it you know no now i think you even know more than some some muslims as well because <laughs> you have been looking you know a lot of YouTube. yeah so in Korea, actually, it's very, very, you know, I'm really, really happy for people who are, like, people are interested much about Islam. Some of them are not co converting, but at least they are trying to learn something about it. And understand, yeah. yeah. And understand, and, you know, you know, people need to understand, you know, Islam, you know. People have a lot of, you know, some bad things, you know. Yeah, some maybe, bad experiences. Yeah, some experience, they, they watch some news, you know. The news There's and nothing good. some bad things, you know. Yeah. So that is yeah. Most of them is the religion is a bit strange to them. And when you tell I'm a Muslim, someone will get shocked. Ah, you know, people, someone will just feel like you are yeah. strange person <laughs> or something. You know, someone scary or something like. That. Mm -hmm. Because in Korea, there's not much. I think right now, it's becoming a like an end thing. People yeah. are now learning more about it. Okay. You know, yeah. I think in other countries, it's a big not issue it's a big thing it's exposed you know it's it's just out there you see muslims every day yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. in my country a majority of people i would say that they're christians yeah, yeah. and then some of them are muslims so what is his country did he mention because i couldn't catch it but it's hard to interact or see muslim um people unless you go to the community where they are since you've been in Korea, what's the difference have you felt compared to home and here? Mm, actually, you know, I was born and raised in Kenya. Yeah. Kenya actually is not a Muslim country. I think the percentage of Muslims is maybe 40% or even less. Really? 
maybe so 40 percent so the, there is more um, christians. yeah Christ, more, more christians yeah mostly yeah. more christian then we have some other religions you know pagans and you know, such. yeah yeah uh, but uh, you know in, in that country especially in east africa you know islam is more exposed yes because we have you know somalia is a muslim country ethiopia almost half of the country or more than half is muslim country mm -hmm. nearby tanzania like that you know most so Islam is, is very, you know, a religion which is very popular in this, 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 this Africa. Yeah. So in my country, we have more Muslims compared to here, I think. Yeah. So that's why it's not, it's okay because we have people around, Muslims around, we have prayer rooms, we have mosques around and, you know, it's very, it was very good to practice the, the religion very well, pray, yeah. you know, perform the five daily prayers, you know, attend the mosques, attend Friday prayers, something, you know. But when I came here, it was a bit strange, you know, and different. because, yeah, different, because this is, you know, Islam is very unique. And when someone even sees you, there was a time I was praying somewhere and someone just came to me and told me you were going up and down. What was it? You know, someone just asked really? me. Really? Yeah. And from, you know, were, you, were you praying in public or? It was not in public. Okay. Actually. It was just a prayer room. Uh, okay. Like okay. This, okay. Yeah, in, in, the, in the room, somewhere yeah. like that. So I was praying and someone just came to me and, you know, he, he saw me, me go, you know going then up, you, know, yeah. you are going up down you know and then I, t I told him i'm a muslim so i pray you know i'm you know praying to my god yeah sorry i have to drink some water um that actually reminded me of my time in france as well where when i was praying at the corner someone actually saw and come and see what was going on right and then because my hand was holding like that uh, she was concerned like are, are you having a stomach ache or something but of course i'm in the middle of the prayer of the solar i just have to continue and then when i bow down she's like she just go go away right so interesting so then, oh, then you know he heard about it but he heard something bad about it he never ah, knew maybe yeah. someone some you know someone polite walking like this student like this praying you know then he come and ask me something about you know so then and this, he told this him, religion yeah. and you know this is how we practice and this is how things we do and the guy wanted to learn more about it you know that's beautiful so man. it's it's very very important actually to here the islam is not uh, popular but actually i i like you know people to at least learn something about islam yeah. even if not converting but at least God is the one which, who gives you know the guidance. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good people at least to learn something good, you know. So as a Muslim, maybe I will encourage most of the Muslims. Even you cannot convert someone to a Muslim, but if you show them something good, you know your 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 behaviors are good, how you treat them, the kind of love you you show them, the kind of generosity wow. you show them, the kind of character you reflect. Yeah. That that that's what will make them at least learn something beautiful, and in that way, God can guide them through through you that's that's amazing and i won't lie since i've learned and i've been watching a lot of videos yeah, yeah. on youtube i can say that something in me has changed you know yeah, yeah. i'm not careless anymore yeah some people will say maybe okay now loazi you are growing up so yeah, yeah. you have more responsibility mm -hmm. i think watching the videos as well i i just walk different mm -hmm. i talk different i think different mm -hmm. you know it's something that's very beautiful I saw in some other video that you know you've studied and you've memorized the whole Quran. Yeah, 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 yeah I memorized the Quran. Alhamdulillah. The whole Quran? Yeah, yeah, because I did it when I was young, you know. So by then it was easier to memorize. So yeah. that's how I, it, you know, I memorized it. Brother. Yeah, in Malaysia as well, we have a lot of Hafiz right? uh, that, that, that memorize the whole Quran. Uh, normally they did it. Uh, when they are relatively young, right, uh, in school, and I, s I have the option actually. <laughs> That's my story. I have the option. Uh, after PMR here in the in the Malaysia system, um, um, I had the option of going for tahfiz for one or two years to memorize the whole Quran before going back to the traditional um, subjects. You know or just going straight there right and back then my thinking was is there any future for this hence i skipped the stuff and didn't memorize quran meaning i i, I memorized meaning 
throughout our syllabus we do memorize um, the 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 normal uh, what you call this the famous surah etc but not because when you want to memorize the whole quran you have to focus and then you have to take a break from the traditional learning uh, just have mainly hours a day to memorize uh, then come back there right so i skip that opportunity thinking back is like unfortunately you can see but wallahu alam alhamdulillah um uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know how hard it is to memorize for an exam. <laughs> yeah, even <laughs> now, you know, when I you when know? I read an English and you know the story, you know, one line, you know, it takes I cannot memorize one line. Yeah, but you know, in the Quran, actually, is this is a miracle, you know, this is a miracle that came from God. Personally, I don't know how it went, but you know, it's something you learn it, you know, it sticks in your brain and you cannot forget it. Yeah, there is some miracle in it, you know, when you are reading it, you can even see. How the lines how they are following one another it can you can reflect from your brain so this is you know miraculous so we cannot wow. compare it the other. yeah that is that is the, the 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 main argument right why quran is so easily relatively memorized um, fully by millions of people for every generation um, because the same people i think i'm not sure if anyone have ever tried to memorize a whole book word by word verbatim like that like the Quran for any other any other book can they actually do it right uh, so but of course there's no purpose of doing that so I don't think no one have ever attempted you can't and the way you have to learn it and mm. recite it recite it when you're reading the Quran and you're reciting it yeah. it sounds like a song Mm. It's like you're singing to yourself, okay. but the words, it's like, it, it's amazing, man. Yeah, because it's really amazing. Mm, you know, in the Quran, actually, it's written Arabic form. Yeah. yeah. So when we need to read it also in a certain, you know, uh, procedures and a certain guidelines, a certain rules, you know, to follow. So when you are, you know, when you are reciting it, it's it's good when you recite it with good good voice, you know. Oh yeah. You know you 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 follow the rules written in the in the in the book in the in the Holy Quran, and that's why now, as you read it, just becomes beautiful. You know, you feel so good when you are reading it. You know, that's you feel comfortable and. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not just because it is in Arabic, because the Hadith is in Arabic, but it is not read. In, a, in the same way, right? You you do not have to say, "Inna al niyat or something like that's the hadith, right? But for the Quran, there's a certain way of reading it, and um, that's the miracle as well. Easy to memorize. Um, the 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 points is, I mean, the contents is also a miracle, but as well, the the intonation, the rhythm, etc. It is also like y- y- you cannot compare you, you really cannot compare right? I- with any even Arab- other arabic literature right what more with other language so that's why when we say the quran is in arabic it is in arabic because that's the where all of the miracle becomes one powerful miracle right because if you translate to other language all of those are missing right you do not have the intonation the rhythm etc uh, etc etc et right um, you can basically take out the content, the meaning of the content, but all of the other aspects that make Quran what it is is missing in other language, right? So, I do not know. Is there any other book that can claim, you know, such standard? I like people actually to learn and at least just read it. You know, yeah. when you read it, the kind of happiness and the kind of comfort you feel inside, you know, maybe. The Muslims, they felt it, maybe the non-Muslims, they, 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 I really want them, I just feel it. Brother, I'm a non-Muslim. Yeah. There's a specific way to read the Quran yeah, yeah. that you know. Yeah, yeah. Can you teach me? Like how to read a Quran properly, like proper way to read a Quran. Is there a specific procedure you follow? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I can teach you actually. But you know, the procedure is not as easy as you think maybe. Because you need to learn the Arabic letters in the, ah, in the, okay, okay, in the first okay. place, you know. Woo! When you learn the Arabic letters, yeah, maybe from there, then I can teach you how to combine the letters, you know, wow. how to form one one word, then how to read that word, then 
a sentence like that, you know. That's not so, easy. Yeah, it's not easy that's, because that's, that's for me too, easy. it took me all in the first year when in in, the, in my first year of learning the, yeah. the Quran, you know. I took time learning the Arabic first because you have to learn the letters of Arabic, you know. Yeah. I'm not an Arab, so Arabic is foreign language to me too. Yeah, so of course for most, not so most, for many Muslim um, that was born into the, the family of Muslim, right? For example, mostly in, in, in Malaysia, right? the Malay Muslim, most of us learn uh, at least the Arabic necessary to read the Quran at a very, very early age, right? So, hence we are at the advantage that we do not struggle to learn as um, these reverts do, right? Um, yeah, the, the, the guy in the right there is a recent revert, right? Of course, the left there. He learned it very young, uh, just like me, right? So, um, because I sometimes we we do not appreciate the the the, the challenge that they need to overcome uh, to learn to read, to recite basically, right? Not because um, normally they have the Quran translation in their own language, but to actually recite the Quran itself, it is in the original language. Hence, you have to know how to read the text of Arabic. Yeah, so. Alhamdulillah. So, meaning when I see the the Korean brothers etc. etc. a little bit by bit trying to learn reading uh, the Quran etc. Um, w- because we have learned it so young, sometimes we do not appreciate that they have to actually put effort to learn it to c- to come to their own you know stage right now. If I see Rashid O for example, right. So, yeah, Alhamdulillah, I was born in a Muslim family, family, and then Shukur is must then, of course, and we have to actually play our part. So I have to study it first, you know, then memorize the Quran like that. Wow. So, like, but no, like I mean, like also like basic reading the Quran. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I can, I can teach you the, like the, the basic, like and basic and reading the Quran. Not even in in in. A, some people say that you can't just pick up the Quran and just start flipping pages. You know? ah, yes. They say you, you have to respect and read it properly, and you know there's so many yeah yeah rules. because yeah because this this book book of, of Allah you know we we respect it as Muslims so we need if someone want to read it maybe you read it you know when you are good with it you know yeah when you're in good condition and everything you know then you know you go you give it with much respect because these are words written by the, by the creator the yeah. one who created the, the earth you know the one who created the sky the one yeah. who created us as human beings so you know it's very very important to us so we like when someone wants to learn it or to read it maybe they do it in the perfect way i can't thank you enough there's so much to learn and there's so much to know i've got so many questions but just me being here with you right now i feel good this will be part one part two is up next make sure you subscribe down below make sure you follow and i will leave his details if you would give me on on the description down below you guys can follow him on facebook just maybe wish him well with school and everything brother thank you so much okay thank you so next much. video we're gonna he's gonna recite for us a few verses that he likes and this will be my first time hearing someone reciting i'm so excited so please make sure you guys watch the next video thank you so much i'll see you guys next time peace okay interesting so that made me want to watch the second part uh because i think he will be um reciting some of the part of the quran um yeah that that would be my guess based on what was mentioned there anyway so how many minutes have this been um sorry the past 20 minutes i guess um alhamdulillah so i still couldn't catch his name but we'll just go with lstv <coughs> alhamdulillah he is now a muslim but this video is two two months back um i think i, I shouldn't have had any more for this video, we'll go for next video, inshallah. Hopefully, I will take find time to watch um, the second part. Uh, hopefully, thank you for watching.